There are two methods to fix this problem. Method 1. Right click on the start menu. From these options, click on Device Manager. Then this window will open. In this window, from these devices, locate Keyboards. It's here. Please expand it. Now, right click on its driver software. From these option, click the first one. Update driver. In this window, if you are connected to internet, click on the first option, here. Now, please wait till this searching will be completed. If it shows, the best drivers are already installed, go to the previous window, by clicking, this arrow key. Now, click on this second option. Browse my computer for driver software. In the next window, click here. Let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. In the next window, choose a model from here. Then click, next. Please wait for a while. Okay. Now, you have done it. Click on close here. You will be asked to restart your system. To restart click, yes. After restarting, your problem should be fixed. If this method doesn't work with you, try the second method. To do it, open the settings. So, click on start menu. Click here. Settings. In the settings window, click the option, ease of access. In this window, in the left hand side, find the option named, keyboard. Now, in the right hand side, turn on the option use your device without a physical keyboard. Now the keyboard will appear on the screen. Now. Right click on the start menu. Then click on Run. To open the run command box. Here, type rigid it as you can see on the screen using this keyboard. Then click on OK. Now the registry window will open. Here. Follow the path shown on the screen. Firstly, Expand the key named key underscore local underscore machine. Then expand the key named system. Now, from these, expand the key named current control set. Then expand services. Now please locate the key named i8042PRT. It is here. Please select it. With selecting it, go to the right pane. From these keys, open the key named Start with double clicking. In this pop up window, change its value data as 1, then click OK. Close this window. And now restart your computer. After restarting, your problem should be fixed. I hope this video will help you. Thank you for watching this video by Tech B. Please like this video. And let us know your experience with this video by commenting below. Please subscribe this channel for the latest updates. Thank you.